Have you ever wondered if something as cold as the moon can radiate heat to something as hot as the sun? That kind of question often leads to a common misconception that radiation contradicts thermodynamic principles and breaks the second law of thermodynamics. Does radiation violate the second law? Let's clear that up. This law is crucial not only for introducing power and refrigeration cycles, but also for presenting the principles that govern them, profoundly impacting our daily lives. It applies to everything from small-scale systems to massive astrophysical processes. Additionally, the second law describes the distribution and transformation of energy across the universe, playing a crucial role in phenomena such as star formation, cosmic evolution, and the dynamics of galaxy structures. These applications demonstrate the law's capacity to explain thermal dynamics on a cosmic scale, underscoring its importance in astronomy. The second law establishes that heat transfer from hotter to colder bodies is associated with an increase in entropy, a measure of disorder that tends to rise, illustrating the unidirectional arrow of heat transfer, something that seems to contradict radiation principles, which state that any object above absolute zero emits thermal radiation. This phenomenon occurs naturally and is described by the Stefan Boltzmann law. Whether it's a star, a rock or a satellite, everything radiates energy in the form of electromagnetic waves. So, where does the confusion come in? Since all objects radiate energy, it might appear that a colder object, like the Moon, can transfer heat to a hotter one, like the Sun, reversing the natural direction of heat flow. But that's not a violation of the second law. Here's why. Radiation is bidirectional. Every object emits photons in all directions. That means a cold object can radiate energy toward a hot one and vice versa. Ultimately, the second law describes the net direction of heat flow, from hot to cold, and the increase in entropy, not the path of each photon. This principle of the second law holds even at the microscopic scale. When you examine individual particles and photons, statistical mechanics demonstrates that their collective behavior still adheres to the second law of thermodynamics. On a larger scale, you can observe it in deep space, where temperatures stabilize around a few kelvins as energy is continuously exchanged through radiation between stars, planets, and cosmic dust. The next time someone says that a colder object radiates heat to a hotter one, remember, this does not violate the second law of thermodynamics. It's just a misunderstanding of how radiation follows the second law, where net heat transfer always flows from hot to cold and entropy increases.